Hello and welcome to shop. Today we're working in the woodworking shop and the project that we want to put together today is a simple toy top. This little top has a spinner on it that spins on the table and the floor two to three minutes and it has a handle that we're going to put together that has some holes drilled and we have to do a lot of sanding just to make it look good but it gives a good project when we're done and here's a finished project and I'll just give it a pull here and away it goes and that's what we're going to be building today and uh, you can battle those tops all over wherever you wish. So the first step that we do is we take a piece of wood. We've, here I've got some pre-cut pieces and you need some kind of a template that allows you to easily draw a handle. So I set my template on there and I take my pencil and all I'm going to do is to mark out on here the general shape of where my handle is going to take place. And I'll even draw the circle there to show that it's going to have a hole at that location. Then I'll take this over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut this out now on the bandsaw. So here we are at the bandsaw and I've got the guard adjusted to the right height for my wood and all I have to do is to cut out the pattern that I have marked. I'm not terribly concerned about the exactness of my cutting. It's just that it's the general shape because the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take files and rasps and sandpaper and all that, those special shaping tools, and I'm going to shape that into the exact smooth project handle that I want. Now we're back here at the first bench and I've got the rough cut of my handle for the toy top. So I put it into the vise and now comes all of the hard work that you're going to do for a while. So I'll start off with a rasp and I can rasp those corners. And if there are any uh, places where the bandsaw went up or down, you want to smoothen that off so it's a smooth curve so that you can sand easily later with all of the sandpaper. So now that you've done some filing with the rasp, you get to have the start of a reasonably round handle. You'll do a lot more sanding later on. But at this point we need to drill a large hole in the one end of it because that's where the string is going to be pulled from. So let's go take a look at the drill press. Now to drill the hole in the top handle, you need to find the appropriate drill bit size. Here's one a little smaller, here's one a little bigger, and it really all depends on how much width you have here. Uh, I've got one that's probably seven-eighths of an inch right now, so we'll use that one. I've got this clamped down so it's not going to move, and here it is on the drill table. So you want to do a little bit of drilling and then bring it back out. The drill bit that I'm using is a Forstner bit. The Forstner bit is used to drill a fairly flat bottomed hole and this works quite well for drilling through to give a nice clean cut all the way through. So I now have the drill press set up for the large drill bit going vertically into the center of the hole. Now the size of the drill bit that you want to use for that is a little bit bigger than the dowel that you're going to use. So if the dowel is 3 eighths of an inch, you better be using a drill bit that's a couple of sizes bigger. 13 30 seconds works really good. So time to drill. I'll just lower this table a little bit. 
put the clamp on so it's not going away. So there I have the hole drilled right through. So now I can have my dowel fit through there and that is really good. So here's the dowel that I'm going to use and here's the wheel. You just buy these little wheels at the hobby shop and that's the wheel that I'm going to put onto the dowel. Now while the camera was off I sharpened this end. This end is sharpened just in a pencil sharpener. It doesn't have to be absolutely uh, pointy on the end because I'm just going to round that a little bit with the sandpaper. But what I'm doing right now is I'm checking to see where I need to drill the hole for the string. So I first set this uh, wheel up just inside, I'm, I'll draw a line on here just so you can see, but I set the wheel up so it comes to about there on the spindle. That means that it's going to take up this much space and from there the next part that's going to fasten in it's going to stick out just like this that much and now right in the center of the large hole that I drilled I can put a little mark on the spindle and at that location is where I'm going to drill the hole for the string. So I set the dowel into a V-block so it doesn't run away on me in the drill press and from there I can just hold it with my finger on the V-blocks. Turn on the drill press here. And there I have a hole right through. In order to sand the end I find that the fastest way is to just uh, work with a disc sander and I'm just going to give it a slight pressure on the disc sander as it's rotating and it's going to round off the end. After you've sanded the ends on the electric sander, all I have to do is to take a little bit of uh, 100 grit sandpaper, put it in the palm of my hand so there's a little bit of a hole in there, and then I just kind of thread this back and forth, kind of screw it in there, and it rounds off the end a lot better. And then you go to uh, 150 grit sandpaper and to 220, and it looks really good by the time you're done. Don't sand the shaft because if you sand the shaft then the wheel is going to get loose when I go and put that on there. Well we're almost done so I want to put the shaft onto the wheel so I'm going to set the wheel with the decoration up and I'll set that onto something that has a hole in it and I'll use my vise there and then I take the spindle and I just tap it down so that it's the sharpened part just finishes poking through. Now when I put that onto my uh, handle, the hole should be somewhere in the large area. That large area is for the string. Now I'm not quite ready for the string yet because I need to make sure that the string doesn't come unraveled and I take a wee little bit of glue, just carpenter's glue, and I'm going to put it onto each end of the string and I'm going to let that dry for about five minutes or so before I go and try and use it. If you don't put that on there, it's always going to be coming unraveled on you and you're not going to like that. Well, here we are at almost the last step in the project. We just need to oil this up a little bit, put a little bit of preservative on it. So I take some oil, uh, you can have linseed oil, canola oil, peanut oil, coconut oil, whatever it is that you want and you just oil this up so it looks good. It'll soak into the wood and it'll disappear. And then I'll oil up the handle. Make sure you get into all the little spots and we will be right back after this because we're gonna test this next. We're done. And uh, here's the finished project. And like I showed you at the beginning, it spins like a top. Whoa, back there you go. 
And there's our top. Woodworking. It's a wrap. Whoa, shh. end. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? <laughs> there it is. It's ready to fall over. There she goes.